All right, we're headed to the Costco parking lot to try out Auto Park on an Intel chip, ultrasonic sensor equipped, Model 3. Okay, here we are waiting for pedestrian to cross. Now there is a difference between the Intel chips and the AMD chips. Uh, you don't get the high fidelity vis visualization, so you can't scroll around as it's parking. But still pretty cool nonetheless. Another pedestrian here. Taking us through the Costco gas station. It's, uh, it's awkward there. Wants to make a left turn here, which <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take over here. Uh, we're going the wrong way. See the arrows there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna reset it here. I'm gonna reset it. We're gonna get back on FSD now and go through to our destination here. First thing we'll see: Does Auto Park pop up while you're in the middle of a drive? And so far not, we are at slow speeds here. No spots have popped up. Let's see as we come around here. Once again, no spots have popped up. So, looks like if you're in the middle of an FSD drive, nothing's gonna pop up for you. All right, so what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna disable. Oh, look, okay, it's turning here, so. I'll wait till we do our turn, and then I'm gonna disable. It's a really bad spot to turn. Um, I got some pedestrians, it's slow, slowly following. Um, all right, so I'm gonna disable it here. It looks like it's just taking us to the front of Costco as kind of expected. And let's see if any spots pop up. Okay, no available spots, so. There were though in that first section where, so. Okay, there's one spot, uh, two spots, there we are. I'm gonna actually pull a little further. I'm gonna do a couple tests here. So, let's have it pop the spots back up. So there's our spots, I'm gonna turn FSD back on. Spots are gone. So once again, verifying that you can't use it while in FSD. Actually have to turn it off and there we go. Um, you know, I could try it here, but I think we can go to a more impressive spot. Let's try to find a spot with more cars. Hopefully I won't be blocking any of the roadways for too long. Okay, I'm not on FSD right now. So you should see as we drive around, spots randomly pop up when available. All right, we're gonna go down. Let's go down this row here. Let's see if we, we see anything. Yeah, two spots right here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tap on a spot. We'll wait till this car gets out of the way. Tap on a spot, I wanna do this spot. I'll click start. do its thing. All right, pretty tight squeeze there. Coming in at a kind of weird angle. But hey, it's doing it. It's doing it really well. Once again, I can't move the screen around here. Um, if you're on an AMD chip, you'll see the high fidelity visualizations. I don't see that on my Intel car. Can't do anything in this screen here. And auto park is complete there. All right, let's... Um,
let's go forward again. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this once more. Let's just do a few more tests here. So let's take a look at the visualizations. You can see the parking spot there. I can move around on this screen, see different spots. Um, that's the only one available. But you see a park, car parking into it now. But while it's parking, I don't see the updated high fidelity visualizations and I can't rotate the screen at all like I can on the AMD chips. All right, I am manually driving right now. What do we see on here? We see some crosswalks. I don't remember if that was there in the last version. I think it was. I think the crosswalks were there. Obviously, lots of pedestrians. I'm trying to go down an aisle here that has some open spots, but I'm not seeing any open spots. So, <laughs> nothing here. I'm going to go down. Let's just go down this aisle here, see what we see. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, we got we got a couple spots up here. Um, I don't want to block any of these cars that are trying to park. Unfortunately, <laughs> like that guy's trying to get in a, a spot. Um, I can't park in spots that are straight ahead, so it wants to back into the spots. It looks like. Um, actually, let's do that again. Let's do that loop. I want to just verify that. We can't park in spots that are uh, forward facing. So you drive around here, you can see the available spots pop up. Lots of them here in this row. You can tap on any one of them, it'll park. We come back through this aisle. At the end of it, we have some forward facing spots. Let's see. Let's see if. Yeah, so it looks like those forward facing spots aren't an option on here. As soon as I start turning here, they become available. So you know, if I were to tap on one now, let's see what happens. Nobody around me. Got a second. Hit start. And. Okay, hold on. I'm going to tick over there. Um, Yeah, we got cars coming. So what it looks like it was doing, um, once again, this is a busy parking lot. I don't want to mess up traffic too much. Um, it looks like it would, it went forward a little bit, but it was going to back up at kind of an angle um, to do our reverse parking again. Very interesting though. Um, let's try one more test here. Let's um, let kind of come around here. We're at you know, kind of a an angle here. Okay, that spot's no longer available. Still shows it there. I'm gonna reverse again. There it is, it's highlighted dark, which means it's available. Let's try to park at this, this kind of weird angle that I'm at. Let's see what happens. So cars, pulling forward. People probably wonder what I'm doing here. Do you have someone waiting for me now? Okay, so it's kind of finding its spot to back up. One, two, there we go. There's a strange angle, so it's going to need to correct. We're pulling forward. And we're into our spot here. back there we go okay we're parked okay so I mean I think we we learned a few things there um, won't pull forward into parking spot um, it, it highlights them dark when it's able to park in them so you can see here these are highlighted light it's not giving me an option to park in them it does recognize them as spots I can't park in it because of the position we're in 
So when they're available to park, they're light, or I'm sorry, dark. We'll see that when we pull out in a second. And then while we're using FSD, um, we can't park in a parking spot. Or we can't select one while we're using FSD, which kind of makes sense. You know, it's, it's headed to a destination. So I'll pull forward again so we can see the difference here. And you see it's light there. And now all those spots are dark. Those are the ones we can park in. So pretty cool though. Pretty cool parking spot. Hopefully it speeds up over time. Um, that first parking spot really wasn't that bad. Um, felt like it did a decent job pretty quick. But you're in a busy parking lot like Costco, lots going on gonna need it just a little quicker so anyways 12.3.6 auto park on an Intel ultrasonic sensor equipped 2019 model 3